Okay, just a short vid here. Um, Bronco got this ginormous air cleaner. Came off of an old 390, but it's better than nothing. Uh, I was looking at this thing the other day, pulled out the distributor cap, and uh, noticed that it's got a uh, an aftermarket um, Excel points eliminator eliminator on it and so I mean it's got kind of a high performance I suppose ignition on it which is probably why my coil here is overheating when I'm trying to start this thing it's pretty weird but uh, what I'm gonna do is try and get the fuel uh, drained out of this thing because I think the fuel is pretty nasty and that's one reason why it's not starting so we'll do that Okay, it's a little windy, so bear with me, but basically what I did, looky there. Hmm, ain't got nothing. All right, I had to pull that fuel pressure regulator off and uh, give you guys an idea of how much fuel that thing was getting. Uh, that's a whole lot of fuel, and it actually looks really clean, so I don't think that was the problem. When I had that uh, fuel pressure regulator on, um, nothing was happening. And I had it set at five, so I wonder if this regulator is no good. But regardless, that fuel is clean and there's way too much of it coming out, so that's why this thing was having such trouble. Okay. Anyway, get it turned off because that fuel is clean. There's nothing wrong with the fuel on there. <sighs> well, anyway. Okay, so I just tried it again with that fuel pressure regulator. And uh, I've been told that fuel pressure regulators on these, on these Broncos aren't any good. Um, and I think I may have just experienced that because there's nothing flowing through this thing unless with the regulator, the only way it flows is the carburetor feeding it, but that wouldn't make any sense because this thing wasn't starting. The only way it would start is if we uh, put some fuel in it, so <sighs> I don't know what to do here, but anyway, I'm actually only on my lunch break right now, so I don't really have a lot of time to dink with it.